Welcome to Coaches Weekly. This is Jim Egan filling in for CJ Selner this week, and I'm here with Cougar men's lacrosse coach Drew Stevenson. Drew, today we're looking back at uh, road matches last week against Beloit and Cornell. Now, a couple weeks ago, we saw that when that uh, when that chemistry is there and everything's going right, uh, you can get some great results on the field. We saw that at Carroll um, this uh, past week. Uh, had a had a little problems with the uh, with the overall look, and uh, if you could just give us a, a brief recap of uh, what went wrong in those couple games. You know, the you know, hats off to our opponent. You know, uh, Beloit and Cornell. Uh, you know, Beloit's been around a little while. Cornell is a newer program, but still got a couple seasons under their belt. Uh, you know, they're they're just mature. Uh, they're they're a little faster. They're obviously deeper than us on the bench. And, uh, you know, we're learning to deal with the pressure, you know, not, not the pressure to win or lose, but literally the physical yeah. pressure of the, of the game. And, and uh, you know, Beloit plays a up-tempo, uh, high-energy, you know, put the pressure on the ball, put the pressure on the adjacents. And, and uh, you know, it's just something that our team's learning to handle and manage. And, and that's going to be just, you know, another phase of the maturation process of our players getting used to it. And, and Cornell did a really good job of, uh, you know, getting every loose ball. You know, they, they, they were excellent on loose balls. and, and and, you know, possessing the ball and, and uh, you know, in the end, uh, you know, that's just, you know, one of, the, one of a couple of things that we need to really stress to our young team that, uh, you know, at this college level now that all these players are at uh, for the first year is, you know, it's just, it's just that much quicker and, uh, the, and, and the, you know, the, you know, the mistakes we make are always kind of glorified now because the other teams are that much more experienced and, 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 and uh, you know, have the skill and athleticism to, to back up that uh, experience. And certainly, uh, this first season has been a learning season, and uh, one of the things that your uh, your team is dealing with right now is that uh, you know athletes, uh, it, no matter what the sport, do have to learn how to play in pain. And there's been some of those uh, nicks and bumps and bruises uh, lately. And uh, again, uh, it's you know it's part of the learning process for yeah. Guys. I mean, you know, every team, everybody playing, you know. The one, two, Division three athletics, and, and, and this season right now in lacrosse, everybody's bumped and bruised, and and that's again where you know the the depth comes into play a major role. Uh, you know, you know the deeper teams, you get one guy knocked out for a game or two, or maybe the season, and you, you know, hey, next man up, you know, kind of, uh, you know, it's always kind of a, a saying amongst many teams, next man up, you got to step up and fill your role and do your job and and whatnot, and uh, you know that's you know while we don't have that depth right now. Uh, the experience, while while tough and challenging as it, as it can be right now, uh, mental resiliency. That I know that I, these guys, whether they believe it or not, right now, and they will. I know by next fall and certainly by next spring, uh, the mental resiliency is is frankly more critical than anything else. If you're mentally resilient. Uh, these guys will, you know, rebound, you know, better than anybody down the road because, you know, a lot of freshmen and a lot of first-year players are not getting this uh, experience. And so we'll really see the benefits of it starting, you know, the last few games of this year and certainly going into, you know, season two next, next fall and next spring. All right. Now, the good news is that the Cougars are at home uh, two times this week, uh, Wednesday late afternoon against Benedictine and then Saturday afternoon against Milwaukee Engineering. Uh, talk for just a moment about uh, some, of the, uh, some of the things we can uh, look forward to seeing uh, with these particular matchups. Well, uh, you, know, pe you know, teams we know, you know, at least from, you know, th they've been around a while, each of these programs. And mm -hmm. so, you know, Benedictine's a sound overall fundamental team. Uh, they've got a couple of really good players uh, that we're obviously, you know, we've got to focus on and, 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 and manage, but, you know, again, uh, you know, thinking about solely Benedictine right now, tomorrow afternoon here at, at Concordia, uh, is we want to focus on us. And I know I've been kind of, it sounds like a broken record every week we talk about that, but it really is. And, and, and certainly we're going to have matchups and, and different, you know, things that we want to try and, and persuade the other team to do and not get, and not get in their comfort zone. Uh, but, uh, you know, planning ahead and looking, looking for tomorrow, it's like, hey, Let's take let's take the next step along the maturation route of hey let's be more patient on offense let's let's clean up our clears let's you know, let's reduce the amount of unforced turnovers uh, all these little things that you know hey I'm sick of hearing it coach but I know you're right you know type of thing and the, and the players you know whether whether they're just like well uh, you know, 
it, it's it's resonating. I know it is because you know they're they're more critical of themselves now than 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 they were just two weeks or even two months ago. And so uh, you know so that 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 development and that growth is is obvious, even though maybe it's not showing on the scoreboard and and, and whatnot. But you know it is to us coaches and 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 more importantly taking pride in what everyone's job and ro and role is and 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 doing it as best as best they can. All right, uh, Drew. We're going to shift uh, the subject here for just a few moments. Um, about a uh, about a month ago, uh, Concordia hosted a wheelchair lacrosse uh, clinic. Uh, both your team and the uh, women's team were involved in uh, in working with the uh, athletes that came out that uh, that weekend. Mm -hmm. Now it's almost time for what you might say step two of this whole process. Could you uh, please give us an update on that? Yeah, uh, in a few weeks, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, early middle part of uh, May, uh, practices will begin here at Concordia. Uh, you know, obviously a number of guys will travel home, you know, from out of state, but some of the local guys, uh, they're going to be stepping up. Obviously, myself will be around. We'll be we'll be helping these guys. One, you know, one to two practices a week starting mid-May right here in, in in our old gym here at Concordia, uh, and then we're looking forward to our our first Cougar wheelchair tournament. Uh, that we're going to be, uh, you know, joining a number of other wheelchair teams up in the, the greater Milwaukee area. Uh, actually, uh, our, you know, our cousin school, Mequon, uh, they're going to be housing many of the athletes for this tournament uh, in early June. And uh, like I said, our players will uh, coach, but also play. They're going to get to compete and get in the chairs and, and, and play and compete. So, uh, you know, their, their lacrosse season at the collegiate level may be winding down here, but uh, you know their role and 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 just you know providing another great avenue outlet for these vets and 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 some non-veterans alike uh, you know that that are disabled uh, you know it, it's going to be a fun time we're excited to do it our players are excited and uh, should be should be a good kickoff here in a few weeks and we're excited to get going and I have to say just uh, having uh, looked in on some of that uh, clinic uh, last month I, it's it's just such a it's an exciting thing to see, but it also just kind of gives you, uh, it kind of gives you goosebumps, I guess. It's, it's, it's just great to see them uh, competing right. and uh, just enjoying the heck out of it. Yeah, uh, you know, from, from Brian, our captain, all the way on down, as we get to know these men and women, they're going to be joining, joining the team and starting to fill out our roster and, 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 grow, and grow the game here. Uh, you know, and our players that are stepping in and filling, I mean, you can see the joy. It's, you know, these, you know, obviously the veterans in, in specific, I mean, they're competitors. I mean, all these guys I've spoken to, they played baseball, they played basketball, they played football. Uh, don't have any veteran lacrosse players yet, um, but, uh, you know, that'll probably change down the road. But mm -hmm. these guys are all competitors. It doesn't matter what sport it is. And that's part of the reason why they, they serve this great nation. And, and, and for us to just, uh, you know, come and help share this wonderful game, uh, is, is what it's all about and kind of keep our, you know, and, and I look at it from a perspective that our players are going to now be coaches. And that's the ultimate uh, lacrosse IQ challenge for our players where, hey, they can step back behind the bench or behind the players and instruct and teach. Therefore, they're really, truly understanding the game where, you know, up until now, maybe they've never really coached and they've only been told kind of what to do and what to look for and, and how to respond and that type of thing. And now they're going to be looking, you know, a few steps further ahead uh, than, than most athletes as coaches. So, and that's, and that's what coaching is. I mean, you're thinking maybe a few more steps ahead than the players and trying to advise and teach and, and, uh, you know, and get the guys ready to compete. And, and that's the thing, like these guys are, are, are ready to go and man, they are competitors. And that's the fun thing to watch. All right. Well, it's, it's certainly exciting to kind of see this from the from the very beginning, from its infancy, and certainly something we're going to continue to watch and uh, look forward to uh, talking about it more in uh, future segments here. Look forward to it. All right, Drew, I'd like to thank you for your time this afternoon, and uh, best of luck to the team. Uh, again, the Cougars at home two times this week, uh, Wednesday afternoon and Saturday afternoon, and hope you all can uh, come out and enjoy some exciting men's lacrosse. For Drew Stevenson, this is Jim Egan. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.